Hi, my name is Stephen Sindoni. Thank you for tuning in to the broadcast of the Obama Scam Revealed. In today's program, I will put the spotlight on President-elect Barack Obama. Before getting to this important story, I'd like to share with you how this story was brought to my attention and the bizarre events surrounding it. Someone who shall remain anonymous brought to my attention a story that they wanted to send me by email about Barack Obama. I told them, don't send it to me by email, print it out, and give it to me personally. After reading the story this morning, I began looking on the internet to research the story to get more corroborative information on it. And as I was going through that process, my computer was mysteriously shut down and I lost my internet connection. As a researcher of truth, this happens to me on many occasions when I find something I guess I'm not supposed to find and share with the American people. And I realize there are some of you out there listening who are Barack Obama supporters, and you might not find this story very comforting, but nevertheless, this is the truth. The story I will be sharing with you was posted by a woman, I believe, by the name of Nancy Scola. The caption of the story reads, Pickford versus Glickman. In 1997, 400 African American farmers sued the United States Department of Agriculture, alleging that they had been unfairly denied United States Department of Agriculture loans due to racial discrimination during the period from 1983 to 1997. The case was entitled Pigford v. Glickman, and in 1999, the black farmers won their case. The government agreed to pay each of them as much as $50,000 to settle their claims. But then on February 23, 2010, something shocking happened in relation to that original judgment. In total silence, the United States Department of Agriculture agreed to release more funds to Pickford. The amount was a staggering $1.25 billion. This was because the original number of plaintiffs, 400 black farmers, had now swollen in a class action suit to include a total of 86,000 black farmers throughout America. There was one teensy problem. The United States of America doesn't have 86,000 black farmers. According to accurate and totally verifiable official United States Department of Agriculture 2010 census, census data, the total number of black farmers throughout America is only 39,697. Hmm. By the official United States Department of Agriculture 1990 census data, the United States had only 18,816 black farmers. Oops. Well, gosh. How on earth did 39,697 explode into the fraudulent 86,000 claims? And how did $50,000 explode into $1.25 billion? Well, folks, you'll just have to ask the woman who not only spearheaded this case because of her position in 1997, the Rural Development Leadership Network, but whose family received the highest single payout, approximately $13 million from that action. Her name is Shirley Sherrod. Oops, again, did I just say that? Yes, folks, it appears that Miss Sherrod had just unwittingly exposed herself as a perpetrator of one of the biggest fraud claims in the history of the United States. A fraud enabled solely because she screamed racism at the government and cowed them into submission. And the story gets even more interesting. Miss Sherrod also exposed the person who aided and abetted her in this race fraud. As it turns out, the original judgment of Pickford v. Glickman in 1999 only applied to a total of about 16,000 black farmers. But in 2008, a junior United States senator got a law passed to reopen the case and allow more black farmers to sue for funds. The senator was Barack Hussein Obama. Because this law was passed in dead silence and because the woman responsible for spearheading it was an obscure United States Department of Agriculture official, American taxpayers did not realize that they had been forced in the midst of a worldwide recession to pay out more than $1.25 billion to settle a race claim. But Andy Breitbart knew, and on Monday, July 22, 2010, he cleverly laid a trap which Sherrod, and Obama and his cronies stumbled headfirst into, which has now resulted in the entire world discovering the existence of this corrupt financial judgment. As for Ms. Sherrod, well, she's discovering too late that her cry of racism to the media, which is intended to throw the spotlight on Breitbart, has instead thrown that spotlight on herself and the huge corruption. Sherrod has vanished from public view. 
But the perpetrator of that law, Barack Obama, passed in dead silence, leading to unlawful claims of corruption, is still trying to fool all of us. Go to Google and read for yourself Pickford versus Glickman or Pickford Obama. In closing, I would like to say we cannot allow Barack Obama to have a blank check to turn our country into a third world nation like Thailand. I'd like to thank everyone for watching Obama's Scam Revealed. Yeah, keep on, yeah, keep on. Yeah. Give it time, give it time.